Hi friends, today we'll be solving another physics problem which states that consider a string of length L made up of three segments of equal length. The mass per unit length of the first segment is U, that of the second is 2U, and that of the third is U over 4. Note here that I wrote U because I couldn't find the notation for mu in this application so i just wrote u instead of mu and think of it as uh, mu the third segment is tied to a wall and the string is stretched by a force of magnitude t of s which is tension in string applied to the first segment tension in string is much greater than the total weight of the string. How long will it take a transverse wave to propagate from one end of the string to another? So in order to better understand this question, I have drawn a figure. So imagine this is my string. It's divided into three equal parts. First one is mu, second one is two mu, and my third segment is mu over four. Let's imagine that my third segment is attached to a wall just like it says in the question. And from my formula sheet, I will quickly write down all my known values. I know that the a speed of a wave is defined as tension of string divided by mu square root the whole equation and the speed is equal to dis displacement over time and i know that my unknown is the time because i'm trying to find the total time it takes from the wave to go from one segment to the other and let's start by finding the solution so i will first start by um writing down the length of string equals L over three. L can be any value. And I know that I have divided my string into three equal parts. So that's why I'm dividing my length of string by three. And then I have to find my T1. Oops, sorry. So T1 is equal to question. And I know from my formula sheet that time is equal to displacement over speed. Don't mind my type over there, it's just time. And then T1 equals to my displacement, which is my length of string, and dividing it by my speed, which is this part. We're taking the speed of this part, so I'm going to just use the speed formula. And over here, the speed formula is, isn't changing because the length of the segment is mu. And second segment is 2 mu, and third segment is mu over 4. This is what we know from the first chain. And now I'm going to find T2. My displacement is L over 3 and my speed is tension of string divided by 2 mu, which I can find is the mass per unit length value of the second segment. And if I rearrange it, I get L over 3 multiplied by 2 mu divided by tension of string. Similarly, I will find T3, 
which is equal to my displacement which is length of a string and divided it by tension of string divided by mu over 4 then I can just rearrange this in my brain and find that this is my actual speed I can further rearrange these values to get my final value of mu divided by 40 of s and now I know that I have to find my total time right so my total time is going to be equal to t1 plus t2 plus t3 and if I add t1 which is l over 3 square root mu divided by tension of string plus t2 which we found to be l over 3 square root mu 2 mu divided by tension of string and t3 which is l over 3 mu divided by 4 tension of string i know i can see that there's a pattern in these values i can take l over 3 square root mu divided by tension of string common and then i'm left with 1 plus square root of 2 plus 1 half which is equal to 3 over 2 plus square root of 2 let me add some more space and this is my answer